your live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. And we are tracking severe weather on live Super Doppler 4 HD. We've had hail, gusty winds, and torrential rain. Also, the cloud to ground lightning and a lot of these storms. Let's show you what's going on right now. Not much for downtown Greenville or Spartanburg, but I'm watching this activity back toward Oconee County that might try to make another run at downtown Greenville. If you're heading toward the Greenville Drive game, just keep the poncho handy because this could give us at least another shower or two. But the good news, if you've already seen the rain, your atmosphere is somewhat stable, so it shouldn't last long and it shouldn't be too severe. The strongest of the storms should be coming to an end. Rabin County from Dillard to Clayton seeing heavy rainfall. You go back into Oconee County while Holla just getting drenched right now. Look at this storm over I-85, northern Anderson County pushing uh, right along I-85 really toward downtown Anderson. Uh, it's weakening as it does. Lake Hartwell though seeing torrential rain, especially on the northern side of the lake right here. We've also got about four lightning strikes just in the past few moments here. Further south, you go down toward Elbert County, seeing some shower and thunderstorm activity right along Lowndesville heading into Abbeville County. Let's go up to Spartanburg County. You folks seeing some heavy rainfall heading into parts of Cherokee County as well. Watching Gaffney, you've got a shower and a thunderstorm just northwest of you right along Highway 11 heading toward Grassy Pond. Mayo seeing some heavy rainfall right now as well. Union County, we've got some showers and thunderstorms just south of downtown in Union right along 215. It's hot outside. 89 for Lawrence, 92 right now in Greenwood, but when you factor in the humidity, feels like 98 right now in Elberton, 95 in Abbeville. This heat sticking with us for several more days. So overnight, mainly clear skies, especially after midnight once these showers come to an end. 71 in Greenville, 63 in Asheville. For tomorrow, a quick warm up. In fact, by 2 o'clock, we're already at 88 degrees. We'll start to see those thunderstorms developing, especially north of I-85 and through the mountains. Then they'll spread south across much of the upstate after, say, 3, 4 o'clock. In the Asheville, Hendersonville area, temperatures warming into the 80s yet again with a decent shot at some more thunderstorms, especially by the afternoon hours. Hey, we are watching the tropics this and every day all the way through hurricane season, which ends on November 30th. This time of the year, we're watching for old frontal boundaries or storm systems that kind of die out. They tend to start to slowly develop something, and that's what we're getting right now. This cluster of thunderstorm activity in the Caribbean is worth watching, especially in the long term. It's going to move up and over the Yucatan Peninsula. That land interaction is going to prevent any rapid development, but once it gets into the bathwater of the Gulf of Mexico, there's really nothing to disturb it from developing. In fact, a 50% chance that this will be named Tropical Storm Brett within five days time frame. The models are differing on where this will go. In fact, half of our models take it into the panhandle of Florida. The other half takes it into Mexico right along the U.S. border. Let's show you that first scenario here. The GFS, the Navy, and the Canadian model all show this, but it showed it being a struggling storm with a lot of wind shear. A weak tropical storm possible with this scenario. We've got low concerns just because it's still so far out. The European model keeps it going toward the west. A slow-moving storm, which puts it there Wednesday through Friday. Wind shear keeps the storm weak as well. We'll continue to keep you posted. Four Day Plus shows we're going to have scattered thunderstorms basically each and every day through the weekend. Not a washout out each day. Just keep an eye of the sky, especially by the afternoon and evening. If you're going to be out by the pool or on the lake, just be careful. Watch out for that lightning out there. It cools down slightly heading into the early parts of next week.